we try and address issues of pests and diseases and nutrients all in the same rotation uh, systems. And that's really what CalCore, the core of CalCore is. Um, and then we're also interested in the biological control of important pests. And most of that work focuses on either strawberry pests or pests of broccoli. Uh, Ligus bug is one of the two uh, sort of key pests um, of strawberry in this region. If you look at the organic acreage in Santa Cruz County, um, that's worth about $23 million for strawberry. A conservative, a very conservative estimate for losses with respect to, to Ligus damage is about 5%. That means annually there's over a million dollars of yield that's lost due to this particular pest just in organic strawberries in this county. So the Ligus bug feeds on the flower and uh, can't visually see that the flower has been damaged until it starts developing into fruit and it will result in a fruit that's they call cat-faced, kind of gnarled and um, unmarketable. The way we control our Ligus bug and from the extensions outreach is the best management practice right now is using vacuums, aspirators that will come into the field and suck up the bugs and just grind them to pieces. So Ligus bug is a generalist uh, feeding pest, uh, which is to say that um, it doesn't become problematic in strawberry because it loves strawberry, but rather because it's uh, sort of available when the hillsides and all the sort of the native plants um, have become dry as spring turns to summer. Um, if we can uh, utilize um, that uh, uh, polyphagous feeding behavior and take advantage of it by providing a, a plant host that's in fact preferred, um, then you can prevent pest establishment in a strawberry field. And of course, with organic agriculture, prevention is steps one, two, and three in a good pest management program. Uh, so what we've done is implement uh, alfalfa trap crops uh, to attract ligus bugs. In addition to that preventative component, um, alfalfa trap cropping also provides a very efficient and effective means of scouting and management. So rather than scouting a very large uh, strawberry field, um, with alfalfa trap crops, you know exactly where to look. With respect to management, again, there's lots of effic efficiency built into the system. Uh, the ligus bug pest pressure tends to be concentrated in this little three-row universe, which is one alfalfa trap crop and then the, the immediately adjacent strawberry row on either side. Um, so uh, the, these tractor-mounted uh, vacuums um, can uh, can go through this three-row area and get the majority of ligus bugs. And you can, in that way, conserve the beneficial insects, the predators, uh, and the parasitoids that are in those strawberries. Part of the, the aim here was to um, distinguish, identify, characterize um, how predators operated in this trap crop system. Uh, so we're able to collect predators uh, in commercial strawberry um, and look at their gut contents to see which ones had actually consumed ligus bug. And we're able to identify 14 different predator groups that actually, that we found evidence of, of, of ligus predation. Um, this included eight different types of spiders, uh, three true bugs, uh, and two beetles. Um, so there's a very big predator community that's in strawberry um, that's consuming, uh, it's consuming ligus bug. Uh, we were able to um, collect a significant amount of evidence that um, predation increases uh, with increased uh, prey abundance in alfalfa relative to strawberry. Ultimately, when you look at uh, yield uh, in strawberry that uh, are adjacent or associated with alfalfa trap crops uh, compared to um, strawberry by themselves, uh, what's exciting is you do get a, a yield improvement. Uh, and so there's definitely an economic benefit uh, to alfalfa trap crops. As far as brassicas are concerned, the cabbage aphid is by far the, the number one problem. Uh, if you sort of unofficially um, sort of survey growers uh, who deal with this pest on a routine basis, um, it sounds like there's about 15% uh, yield loss uh, in the form of contamination, where these aphids get uh, into the florets or, or the heads of a particular brassica. More often than not, uh, the surfid community will come in in a timely fashion and will effectively manage these cabbage aphid communities. But there's inconsistency and an unpredictability with how these surfers move in 
in terms of the quantity or the, the timeliness of their establishment. Uh, so the timing of when servants come in and establish in a field ends up being incredibly important and influential uh, to the ultimate uh, sort of yield outcome of a particular organic um, brassica crop. So some of our goals with respect to uh, cabbage aphid uh, and the surfeit community that, uh, that is found in coal crops on the central coast um, involves distinguishing and characterizing the species uh, in that surfeit community, uh, determining how they uh, interact uh, with the timing of a, a broccoli growing season, uh, particular aphid densities, how they complement possibly one another um, with those dynamics. Um, and then to you know, try and illustrate, uh, communicate um, how those species operate, you know, making sure people understand uh, um, the differences between one species versus another, and especially those species versus caterpillars, so that you know no one's confusing uh, a beneficial insect with a pest. I think the management implications might be uh, tailoring uh, beneficial insectary habitats um, that are uh, most uh, that have the most utility for these particular species. Um, some of these species they vary um, from smaller flies to larger flies, and correspondingly smaller larvae to, lar to larger larvae. Uh, and so it's important to figure out. Uh, which flowers, uh, the flower types, the flower shapes, how accessible the nectar and pollen is, uh, how that corresponds to particular surfeit species, to make sure that, that we're getting the full benefit um, out of these insectary habitats. Identifying the roles of, of specific predators in organic systems is, is very exciting, and that's a really a neat component of the CalCore project. Mm -hmm.